That's how it's gonna go. And it'll just swing on that, uh, what you call it, so that way you get your tension on there. Come with a spacer, but pretty simple, easy kit. And should let you just lock it on the end and then belt loosen up later on. You hear a squeal, just loosen this bolt and that front bolt and just go ahead and move it along. So yeah, I'm gonna get this bad boy tossed on right quick. All right, so I say I was gonna take y'all on the inside and give y'all an update there on the wiring and how I mounted the ECU and everything. So you can see, tucked everything up just like that. Got the little fuse box and my relays right there. Made me a little bracket to stand off there so that way it'll kind of sit up flush. And then what we did here on the dash is we put the touch screen right up there. So it looks good. Being a nice driver view for them. And uh, yeah, man. We cooking, we cooking. So yeah, it's going to look nice. It looks nice and flush. Kind of, sort of. But it's, it's sitting in the perfect spot, I believe. Nice and clean about the way so yeah I like it man I like it I like it and now I'll take y'all on the inside or well, on the outside I should say I'll take y'all on the outside so that way we can finish looking at everything these two wires here are gonna be my uh my fan kicks there so when it reaches temperature this is fan one fan two run this over for the brake switch as you can see we got everything is all labeled fan one AC we got speedo there if he was running digital dash there were electronic dash tack brake switch and my yellow is yeah my yellow is the brake switch and then the speedometer fan one fan two and AC so I'll run that over connect that in to the brake switch so that way it'll unlock the torque converter once you press the brake and you won't have any surging going on there while braking or say if you uh, at a red light it won't be surging on you because the brake switch actually be activated and unlock that torque converter so now I'll take you all on the outside all right so we got the power steering pulley on. Uh, get ready to go ahead and put the belt on as well. And as you can see, the intake is on and in its place. And we're going to mount the catch can right here. I think I'm actually going to put the, uh, I think I'm going to actually do the coolant reservoir right here as well. So, it's gonna look pretty good, I think. Radiator's in. We went up under and got the uh, transmission lines on the transmission and got that squared away. As you can see, they're running through there. Started doing the wiring for the uh, starter. Probably kind of switched that up a little bit, but uh, yeah, man, we cooking. I still got to tighten up the power steering pressure hose on the back side of the pump. But as you can see, I told y'all we was going to have some space in between. And we got about, I guess you'd call that a quarter of space there. And yeah, man, we got daylight, as I call it. Cold air intake, getting ready to mock that up. It's going to go sit in the corner just like that, down in there. And, and we're gonna keep on moving. IX switch. It's gonna probably go in here. Uh, I might be able to put it right there where to come out right there, but we'll see how it's gonna look on there. But man, she's coming together. We wrapping it on up. We wrapping on up. So I'll turn y'all back on in a little bit. 
but all the wiring is in as you can see how clean and tight I try to make everything look make it look factory like it came in this bad boy as what what wouldn't I would say we got a uh, 20 2071 this would be a 2076 over there so yeah and I say think we cooking we cooking we cooking um, got the tensioner in its position so you'll go ahead and you tighten this one and tighten the uh, the nut on the back side and that'll be complete once the belt I got one I gotta just see what size it's actually gonna be and yeah we're gonna keep on moving so just an update on it and uh, we'll get back to it in just a second Alright, so as you can see, we got the steering column hooked up in its factory position. We got the O2 sensors in, and we cooking, we cooking, we cooking. Oil filter is on. So I'm gonna go to the driver's side. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh well, passenger side, extend the wires for the starter so that way I can come around and get away from the exhaust. And yeah, man, we're gonna keep on moving and grooving on this bad boy. So got the factory clip in there, everything is tight, clip is on, so we're good, we're cracking. So yeah, I'll turn y'all back on a little bit. Alright, so we got the radiator here about to go in. Got my fittings on, everything is nice and tight, dual radiator fans. So yeah, we're going to get this bad boy on in there, just did the power steering lines and uh, made sure all that was tight no leaks so far so let's go ahead and get this bad boy in here i think we're gonna have to make a couple of brackets to hold down the top and we're gonna keep on going all right so we got radiator in we got the uh everything mocked up intake tubes mocked up still got to see if my belt's gonna work but i will figure that out in a little bit a little bit more wiring on the uh, AC, not AC, but the uh, radiator fans here. And we're going to keep on moving. But I got my IX sensor into the tube. Cut my little tabs off. I'll go ahead and wipe that down with some microfiber cloth micro there. And a little bit to kind of polish that back up. But we got up here painted. So all that's nice and um, neat now. So... I think we cooking, man. We cooking. We cooking. I think down here, I am going to right down here. I'm gonna cut out this hole so that way I have more fresh air coming in. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna uh, help her breathe even better. And um, so that way she can suck out a lot. All right, so I'll cut y'all back on in a little bit. All right, I knew I forgot to show y'all something. So we got the battery in and. Check out where I took the coolant reservoir right there. Nice, makes it nice and easy to get to. So yeah, I like that position there. Got your sight is easy to see. So yeah, we about to, uh, I think we might be about to have some fire in the hole. Um, don't have any cooling in it so basically just be a, like a test start just a check for leaks got no belt on it my fans ain't uh, done but uh yeah we're gonna kind of see where we at see what she sound like i do have oil in it and um yeah she's coming along coming along got the radiator i mean transmission lines hooked up i like those nice braided ones like that it makes everything looks good ties in all good so we about to see what this bad boy kind of sounds like i think so let me uh put some juice in it and then i'll go ahead and um see where we're at all right so we're about to fire up
as you can see, we got the uh, belt on. Tension there is locked down. About to get ready to put some fluids on here. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get ready to throw that uh, hood on. But as you can see, uh, we just finished up the fan wiring here. I'll get up under there and group everything in and lock it down so that way everything will look good. And we're gonna keep on moving on this bad boy. She's about wrapped up, about to get ready to take it to the exhaust shop. Gotta check the transmission fluid as well. And yeah, I think we cooking, man. What y'all think, man? Y'all drop in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think and how it looking here. Black and silver combo, black and silver combo. Got two black and silver combos about to come out and one all black one as well. So yeah, I think it looked good. Drop down in that comment, tell me what y'all think. What y'all think, how she sound. And um, you know, what this engine bay looking like? Is it clean to y'all? Or what I need to work on, y'all? Y'all y'all let me know. So yeah, just keep reaching out to me. Promise you, I'll get back to you. Sometime I don't see your message right away, but I'll eventually get back to you, man. As you can see, we be over here grinding, but just you know, hit my inbox through uh, through Gmail. That's the best way to contact me through Gmail. Cause Facebook, I don't check it that often, and a lot of times the messages go to spam. So Gmail is the best option to get a hold to me, and uh, just leave me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. There. So yeah, but she looks good, man. Let's get these fluids off in here so that way we can put the hood on drop it down and get it loaded up to get ready to go to this old shop all right so we got fans wired in everything is tucked it's looking good I like it I like it I like it I like it everything is looking good I think we cooking man we cooking we cooking as you can see I got some fluid in there about to put the uh, Air cleaner back on. And um, first, I knew we needed to tighten up the power steering fitting. And we're going to get ready to fire our back up. We're going to throw this hood on. And we'll be rolling. All right, you see, we opened up the hole there. So now let's hit it back with some more black. Just like that. We're back in the game. All right, so we got the intake back on. Intake tube, I should say. So you can see, you see the hole is right there for the snorkel. Yes, sir. Let's bring on down off these jacks. Let's get this hood on. Get her on the trailer. Well, guys, update on the dump. Guess what? Brand new parts failed, guys. Customer had supplied me with some new fuel injectors. One stuck open. What you think happened? Drop down in the comments, tell me what you think happened. Yep. I got a knock now. So it's probably done snapped that, uh, that rod. It's on number two, because I pulled all the plugs. I mean number three, my bad. Hit cylinder number three. I pulled all the plugs and that one was washed, as they say. You see the fuel had it super clean on that one. The other ones are burnt good. And um, that one, hey, you can kind of see there, see the tube on the uh, primary, number three tube. It didn't turn like the other ones. I noticed it when I pulled it on the trailer it was dumping a whole bunch of gas out of the collector. I said, man, I'm glad I didn't catch fire, man. Glad I did not catch fire. But um, I thought I shut it off in time. I put it on the trailer with the winch. But yep, injector bad. Injector bad. Brand new injectors, man. Brand spanking new injectors. Bad. That one. Now it's going to have to have a rebuild on it. 
and yeah bust down this side <laughs> gotta take out the motor take out the hood again and we'll see what he wants to do and um but now i'll take y'all along for the journey man and we'll see what happens coming along coming along Yeah. Hey, pipe is in. Hey, pipe is in. It's looking good. Sounding good, man. We cooking. Huh? We cooking. We cooking. Yes, sir. We Leaving out. 